Mohammed Nasheed had just left home and was about to get into his car when a bomb attached to a motorbike exploded. The former president was injured in the blast in the capital, Male. Nasheed, who's the current Speaker of Parliament, is being treated in hospital for shrapnel wounds. His spokesman says he's in a stable condition. This is very significant, uh, not in terms of scale, but in terms of target. The fact that you had a former president who's still a very prominent political figure, um, a very prominent democratic leader in a region that's now marked by strong men and hardline nationalists. So this is a very prominent figure. So it's a pretty big deal that he was targeted. The president of the Maldives, Ibrahim Mohamed Soleil, was seen leaving the hospital after visiting his friend and ally. In 2008, Nasheed became the first democratically elected president of the Maldives, but he was ousted in a coup in 2012, led by Abdullah Yameen. The Maldives suffered years of political turmoil under Yameen. He systematically silenced opposition voices, including Nasheed, who was convicted on terrorism charges. Human Rights Watch said during Yameen's presidency, criminal gangs and what it called religious extremists enjoyed political protection. Nasheed was granted asylum in the UK in 2016. Two years later, Soleil ran for president promising change and took two-thirds of the vote. An investigation is underway into the blast. No group has so far claimed responsibility. It could be some type of uh, political uh, motivation, political rivalry. That's always a possibility. Um, but there is a, uh, a history, a modest history, of uh, Islamist um, militancy uh, in Maldives. There have been uh, several attacks uh, over the last few years, including one or two that have been claimed by the ISIS organization. The Maldives is heavily dependent on tourism. Analysts say it's relatively stable compared to other countries in the region, and the hope is this is an isolated incident. But for some, the explosion on Thursday is a violent reminder of the chaos and uncertainty of the past in a country best known for its tranquil beaches. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.